you know, I've been playing a rabbi on a show, and then I went from that into this this character of Chris Kraus in the show, I Love Dick. I mean, she is is not what you would call a likable person. Mm -hmm. She's like very myopic. It's like, you know, she's written a series of, she becomes obsessed with this gentleman named Dick. And she writes him obsessive letters over and over and over and over and over again. And it's like through this letter writing that she kind of finds herself. Oddly enough, like we keep talking about how writing a diary is such a specific mm -hmm. female thing. Like there's something about, about a girl needing to put herself her voice out there at yeah. such a young age, which I love. There's something so beautiful mm -hmm. about that. And like, who is diary? Like, who is that addressee? Like, who do you need to give those thoughts to? Mm -hmm. And Dick is really kind of like a stand-in for that, for this particular bird. Is it possible that I saw you on a horse yesterday? Yeah, I have a ranch just outside of town. Oh, how, how big? Curious. You want to know how big my ranch is? No more polite to ask a rancher the size of his acreage than to ask a lady her age. Duly noted. Mm -hmm. I'm just, for the record, I'm on the dividing line. I'm, I'm, I'm st st straddling 40-ish. Straddling? You know, we have an all-female writing room. Like, it was a pretty blessed experience, the making of this show. Underneath that title, that's what was so awesome, is that, of course, it's under this, like, salacious <laughs> title of I Love Dick. It's, like, actually, like, has such a feminist heart. But I had to do a lot of, like, pretty risque stuff in this... Risque. I'm, like, a thousand years old. <laughs> risque in this show. But, like, but it felt safer yeah. than being on a network show doing some smooching scenes. Right. Because the eyeballs behind the camera are looking at you like... Yeah. Uh, you know, with the spray gun and the chicken cutlets and the hair extensions, and you were like, I feel less myself and more mm. so, uh, self-conscious than I did just feeling like mm. empathy yep. or just like feeling like given the, given the autonomy, for sure. It is tricky, though. It is tricky to have like a, your child come up to you and be like, you working on dick today, Mom? Like just so <laughs> casually. Oh, oh, you know, like, oh, oh, it does take you a yeah. little bit back, <laughs> for sure. What are you I mean, working on today, Mom Dick? I was like, oh, God, yes. what's, what's happening? Yeah. What Getting have I that dick money. <laughs> Getting that dick money. Getting that dick money. It's going to pay for your little league, baby. Dick pays the well. bills. Baby. <laughs>the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you guys as a performer? I did a sex scene um, and was wearing one of those modesty patches, mm -hmm. which is like... Chafing. Chafing. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like nonsense, because then you kind of just stare at like a weird sticker. <laughs> And I could feel, I had to like go back like this and I could feel that it had shifted significantly to the left. And I could only imagine the POV of my ghost star. Uh -huh. oh, and that's all I could think of. I was like, oh my God, that just must be. I cannot imagine. But anyway, he was a gentleman about I it, thank it God. it was a beautiful POV. Mm -hmm. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. <laughs> What are the roles that you feel like you sort of get tired of being approached for? I certainly, there was certainly a best friend chapter yes. of my life. <laughs> yes. I felt like I was the constantly, the quirky best friend to like a, a various... You were. Blonde stars. <laughs> and you were always the funniest yes. person in the movie. Oh, mm. But those parts are always like the, yeah. you know, that's where you can be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. It's but like everybody the, could tell watching it like, oh, no. That, oh, that well, you love cute. the best friend. The best friend is is lovable. We'd always like, there, there had been a second by, by my hubby and I, like Judy Greer and I, the, who's a goddess, but like we both had been kind of playing best friends uh -huh. at the same, like kind of always kind of neck and neck for the same best friend parts <laughs> for a second there. And we were like, we should do like, a, like my husband was like, you guys should do like a Rosencrantz and Gilbenstern type movie where it's like the best friends and every so often you see like Kate Hudson running around like behind. <laughs> but it kind of just focuses on like extras, too. Like extras, but, like but extras. With, uh, with best friends. Right. Hi, I'm Oprah. Hey, I'm Issa Rae. Catherine Hahn. Kevin Bacon. Billy Bob Thornton. Elizabeth Moss. Chris Jenner. Minnie Driver. And thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the Hollywood Report channel. on YouTube. On YouTube. Hold on. One more time. Be sure to hit subscribe for more videos.